Tubers, um, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, how to in Norway call a saljeflita. Uh, that's basically uh. a willow flute, but you can also make it from a rowan. Um, so all you need is a stick from a willow or a rowan tree. knife and you see there's quite a lot of knots on this so you have to find a place that is not so knotty for at least five six centimeters it's <laughs> my little helper here and then um, I take my uh, knife it off right there Just try to make it a straight cut as possible so that will be the end of the flute and then make this cut for the lips that you would have on any flute up. And then you cut the bark as far up as you can. And then you Take the knife. This is not really good for it, but and you tap. You can also try to wet this a little bit. And you tap. And you tap. This can only be made in spring and early summer um, because then these trees are full of sap. Careful when you do that. See, it comes off. So, and then you just put it back on. Like that. And then out with the knife again. And you make a stop cut. See here, right on top there. About two centimeters in, or an inch. And then you make, like, yeah, maybe five millimeters from that. Make a, an incision in there, so you get. There, you get a small hole there in the bark. There. And then you take the bark off, put it that aside, you want to keep it. 
and then you continue to work on your stop cut just just like when you make a tent peg really You're supposed to go almost through the whole thing, but not quite. And then you have to make a you have to slice off two three millimeters along the top here. Along here. And that's when you blow air into your whistle. Then you slide on the the bark so it sits right where it was, and then we test. What high sound? Good for a rescue whistle. There you got it, a willow flute, or a willow whistle, or, or a rowan whistle, you can use either one. Um, some even use you. Oh, so uh, that's it.